I fell asleep in the sun in Mexico with huge sunglasses on. I don't feel bad. Kim Kardashian made a book and it has very few words in it. It's titled Selfish and it's a book of her selfies. There's even an X-rated section in this book for pictures that are bad, bad pictures. I involuntarily found that out. Wait, what, there's an X-rated section? Oh my God! Is this book educational? No. Is it life-changing? Absolutely not. Is it worth $19.95 in the United States and Canada? No, not in this economy. If you're a fan of Kim Kardashian, for God knows what reason, I don't know why you would be, but maybe you would like this. Maybe you would like to see uh, like 500 pages, almost 500 pages of photos of her. I wanna preface this by saying I am not a fan of the Kardashians in any shape or form, okay? I bought this book for research purposes only and I tried to spend the least amount possible. I found it on eBay used. With, with the shipping and everything, it was $10, and I feel even that is too much. The inside page here has some text. Let's read it. It says, the pictures in this book bring back so many memories. Spanning almost a decade, there are only a small fraction of the thousands of selfies we considered for publication. Why does this sound dystopian? Kim, how many pictures are you taking of yourself? Thousands of selfies. Only a small fraction we considered. From digital cameras to Polaroids to Blackberries and smartphones, these photos document the evolution of my selfies. And as I printed them out and laid them on the floor to make a final edit, I reflected on my very public journey as a daughter, sister, friend, wife, and mother. This book is a candid tribute to all of my fans who were with me the entire time. Okay, so she's saying the book is a tribute to her fans, you, but they're just pictures of you. They're just selfies. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, I'm just inquiring. So it says the picture, I can't believe I just read this. These pictures document the evolution of my selfies. Just like the evolution of the wheel in, uh, you know, caveman times. That, th I think that's the equivalent to this, right? Just like we've evolved as people and as a society, Kim Kardashian evolves from cameras, to, from blackberries and to the iPhone. And that's, that's all we can ask for as people, trying to make the world a better place. This page lists all the years and which page the year is on. So we're gonna start at 2006, which is page eight. Aww, that's cute, what is this? It says, my very first selfie was taken in 1984. I put my mom's clip-on earrings on Chloe and found a disposable camera and took a picture to capture this memory. That is actually so adorable. That's very cute. In 1984, while Kim Kardashian was taking a selfie at the age of what, two years old, I didn't exist. So some of us were, some of us just had the talent early on. And some of us were literally just not on this earth yet. Baby pictures, that's cute. Let's go to the next one. Okay. But then we just get into 2006. For, so from 1984, we just jumped all of that. I, I wanted to see more baby pictures, but here we have, Kim Kardashian, is she flying economy? Is that an economy seat? I would know, I would know. Okay, because someone reclined on my last flight and I could, I could barely breathe. Okay, and I'm like 5'1", so I have the space. It's a lot of sunlight for economy class, I don't know. Maybe this might be business. And the seat looks comfortable. Is, it, is she in first? I don't know. But for the sake of being delusional, let's just say she's an economy for, for in 2006. Next page is a very zoomed in photo. It says, Paris and I were in Australia here. We were lying down in the back seat of a car with a sheet over our heads hiding from the paparazzi. We wanted to sneak away and go to the beach. You're with Paris Hilton. I'm sure she owns a beach somewhere. You could just go over there. The captions are cute so far. I like that we can, you know, it matches with the photo. Not like in Brooklyn Beckham's book, he would be writing about like, oh, I went to Spain. And then he has a picture of himself in the bathroom somewhere, at least. Kim's book, I'm I'm visualizing a story behind the picture, so I think that's that's a good thing. These selfies with her and Paris Hilton. I had never really traveled until I met Paris. She showed me a whole new world. These pics were taken in Germany, Australia, Italy, and Miami. Next one is Kim sticking her tongue out. Uh, it says, baby hairs on fleek, lol. The next page is selfies with her and her family. The caption says, this is the year I really started going out and having fun. My family was always by my side. Hashtag built in best friends. Okay, but have you ever had an argument about who pays the mortgage for the month? Do you ever talk about that? Okay, and there, with that, 
that's all of 2006. Just she went with Paris Hilton to Germany. She went out with her family for the first time. And then we're now we're in 2007. 2007, we have a picture of Kim. Uh, she looks really good in these, honestly. I love the red background. V she always has good lighting. I gotta give it to her. Okay. I mean, she looks cute. She looks cute. For the it is just pictures of her, but honestly, I was expecting this, so I'm okay with this. Next one is another photo of Kim. I can look at any photo of myself and can tell who did my hair and makeup, where I was, and who I was with. Photos are memories to me. As soon as I see an image, all of the details of the day or moment come alive for me. I remember Steven Molesky did my makeup and Clyde Haygood did my hair. Okay, I'm gonna find them on Instagram and see how much they, they're taking these days. <laughs> gonna try to book an appointment. Next page says, this was a very special day. It was the night Keeping Up With The Kardashians aired for the very first time. I really like these captions because they're relevant to the pictures and now I know like what time period this was in, like what was happening in these pictures. Again, I'm not a fan, but you guys have to know, I'm not a fan of the Kardashians at all. I've never bought their products. I don't watch their shows. I, I, do want, I don't like anything really about the Kardashians, but I will say, I mean, it's an interesting, it's interesting so far, this book. Ryan Seacrest, I don't know who this is. Someone famous that has a lot more money than me that doesn't pay taxes probably. Troy Jensen did my hair and makeup here. I used to go to his house. We would clam and eat crunch bars, dips ice cream, and do photo shoots. We could do this for hours. I like the I like the compositions. They're very interesting so far. And it feels weird to give so many compliments to this book so far. You know, I also like to do photo shoots too, Kimberly. Next page. Oh, that's cool. It's like a behind the scenes of the photo shoot. She's getting her hair done. I was getting ready for a photo shoot wearing my signature juicy set juicy sweat. Sweat, I can't say that. See, sweat, 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 why can't I say it? I was obsessed. I know so many people would probably find getting their hair and makeup done so often tedious, but I love the entire process so much. It th it's therapeutic for me. It relaxes me. What's relaxing to me is when they don't send bills to my house. Being out in the sun, petting my cats. I get my hair and makeup done like once a year, if that, and not even, really. I would like to, don't get me wrong. Listen, if I could get my hair and makeup done like this, yes. Okay, I could look good all the time, but it's just not realistic for taxpayers like myself. Let's all manifest getting our hair and makeup done every day next year. Not this year. This year it's too late. Khalas. <laughs> I personally gave up. I don't have any hope this year. Let's man let's do for 2025. Let's get ahead of the curve, right? Right? Next page. Okay, it's photos with I don't know who this is. Who is that? It looks kinda like her. In my days of club appearances, when I would do them, every weekend, Carla would come with me. We were bored in Indianapolis taking photo booth pics. Every weekend? Good God, that just sounds tiring. I'm lucky if I leave the house at all, even on the weekends. I don't, what's the reason? It's like a game to me, like how long can I survive without leaving my house? That's a lot of socializing. I feel like that's just too much interaction with outside people. I just can't personally. The next photo is Kim and her brother Rob. I love how I know her whole family. I'm like, okay, that's Kim and Rob. Robbie and I in Punta Mira, Mexico. We go every year. So many good memories here. Rob and I were on our way to go ziplining in a jungle. They have their life vests on. They're in the middle of the ocean, about to go to a jungle on their family vacation that they take every year. Do people do? Do people have family vacation? People go on family vacations. Me and my brother play Mario Kart once a year. So I feel like we. I relate to this. Next page. A photo with her brother and then one with Courtney. And it says, we look so young and innocent. Like innocent, what do you mean? Like court of law innocent? Or just, I need something else? Okay, I won't, let's not get, let's not elaborate. Let's just go to the next page. Okay, next page. We are in 2008, everyone. We made it to 2008. I'm proud of, I'm proud of all of us that we made it this far. 2008, let's see. My BFF Brittany woke me up and made me go out to a club in LA with her. I had five seconds to get ready. No, you didn't. There's no way. Your makeup looks too good and your skin is looking too nice. No. Kimberly, this is not five minutes of getting ready. If my friend woke me up to go to the club, I'm already sleeping. <laughs> if, you're gonna, if you're gonna wake me up for something, let it be like an emergency or like you need help, someone needs to be saved from a tree. Your cat ran away. Not, hey, do you wanna to go to the club with me? Girl, I'm asleep. 
Don't wake me. For me to evolve out of my goblin mode, I need at least an hour. That's personally just me. Kim doesn't need that time. She, what did she say? Five minutes. She, oh, she says five seconds, not even five minutes. I could never. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even go out at that point. I'd be like, just leave without me. I'd rather watch Tommy Pickles try to e exit his house. Okay, it's kind of annoying how nice she looks in every picture. Can we get one picture where she doesn't look like amazing? The next page. Is that Jennifer Lopez? Who doesn't have a selfie that they took with Jennifer Lo Lopez? Of course. Don't we all? <laughs> I have one in my phone as well. And then she has another picture with Jennifer Lopez with her friend. But I mean, that's normal. Of course it's normal. Don't we all have a selfie with a celebrity like this with our friends? The caption says, the first time I met JLo, I almost fainted. I will never forget that day. This was at a Miami Dolphins game about a year after we first met. You know, each caption, it's it's like a flex within a flex. Not only did she meet JLo, it was at a Miami Dolphins game. Oh, to go out at night after 8 p.m. I wonder what it's like. All right, next one. Is it is it gonna be is it gonna be Britney Spears next? That would actually I would I would faint myself. Don't disappoint us, Kim. Oh, it's just Chloe. The caption says, Chloe and I were doing an interview with Ryan Seacrest here to promote keeping up with the Kardashians. Doing a live interview with Chloe always scared me a little because I had no clue what she would say. She has no filter. I love that about her, but at the beginning of our show, I didn't know how other people would react. We all have that one sibling that just speaks the truth a little too much, like at the wrong time and you hope that no one's filming and is gonna put it up on Twitter. You know, I don't hate this book as much as I thought I would. I think it's very interesting and I'm really liking the captions. Even if you're not really interested in Kim Kardashian's life, you still, you read it and you're like, okay, like I, I understand the moment here. Next page. Dressing up as Wonder Woman for Halloween. Vegas nights, Vegas has become a tradition in my family to celebrate birthdays. My family tradition is just not fighting while we're eating literally anything. I love the family traditions. Like we just go to Vegas every year. Uh, we go to Napa Valley, California. You know, we take a private jet to France every year for our family tradition. In this economy, we can't afford to have traditions like this. To leave, to leave the state, all of us together, it's not gonna happen. I like how she has these pictures in the book as well. How she's laid them out. This one's cropped in a little closer. And if you look here, you can see kind of what she was shooting with. Just two selfies of her. Next page. She's getting her hair and makeup done again. And again, if we, if we were to do our hair and makeup every day, we could look like this. Guys, I have faith in us. We could look this good. Sometimes. At least me. I, sometimes I'll take pictures of myself and I'll, I'll think this doesn't even look like me in a bad way, not in a good way. Getting my hair and makeup done has become a daily routine. I have become family with my glam teams. This was the day I met Mario, my makeup artist for the past seven years. This day changed my life, lol. After this photo shoot, he took me makeup shopping because I loved how I looked and how it made me feel. I gotta say the pictures that she's taking in this book, good lighting, they're interesting, she looks great in all of them. Next page. Okay, here we have some webcam shots. It says, as soon as I got home from Dancing with the Stars, I was so happy this was over. Right before I went out on stage at Dancing with the Stars. Now we're in 2009. We did it, everyone. We made it three years in this book. My family and I were hosting an Oscar special on E! It's always so much fun working with my family. I feel so blessed that we get to work together. I loved my glam here. A signature Mario look. I remember my stylist for this event, Monica, wanted me to wear the turquoise necklace and I loved it. Imagine getting your hair and makeup done every day and coming out of the chair not looking like Rumpelstall skin from Shrek. I don't think it's too much to ask. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. It will be nice. Complex magazine shoot. It was a futuristic shoot. I love doing photo shoots and having memories and so many different vibes. Me too. I like doing photo shoots so that I can uh, continue to make a living and pay taxes. Taxes every year, Kim. Every year. Oh, this is cool. What is this? On set at my fragrance shoot. She has a fragrance? Actually, I should have just assumed that if you're a celebrity, you have like 20 perfumes. Get yourself Orbella. Forget Kim Kardashian, whatever her fragrance is. You need some Arabella. This smells amazing. So you shake it. This, is, this has become an advertisement. Not sponsored. No, this smells incredible. You guys won't even believe how good it smells. I love Bella Hadid so much. I love everything that she does. Now that's a celebrity that I'm gonna support no matter what. I don't care what she comes out with. Napkins, whatever. It could be anything. 
and I will buy it. You guys have to smell this. Forget Kim, forget Kim Kardashian, whatever favorites this was. Let's just, we're not even gonna dwell on this page because that's irrelevant to us. Here we were on set for our season four photo shoot for Keeping Up With The Kardashians. I love these shoots. All of our show shoots really represent where we were at the time in our lives and I love that we have these memories. What is there to talk about for four seasons? How many episodes is that? I've never watched Keeping Up With The Kardashians and I never will. It's a page of selfies with Kim and her friends. That's the next page. Oh my God. <laughs> this one says, I look naked, but I'm wearing a strapless dress. I was in Canada here at the Much Music Awards. I wanted to try a fun, shorter hair, almost an old Hollywood look with light makeup. I'm 28 years old here, simplicity. This page says MTV VMAs in New York City. Jonathan and I hit up all the parties. We ran into Kimura at Loke. The way that my face would look like uh, the Blair Witch Project if I tried to take a picture like this. We have more selfies with Kim and her friends. This was the first time I met Lala. BFFs ever since. Sierra introduced us. She's the it's so casual, you know. Sierra introduced me and Lala, her best friends now. Yeah, she just meets up with her every weekend. She's like, hi, how are you? How are you doing? How's how's J Lo? And Beyonce, is she doing well? Okay, yeah. I was in Santa Barbara horseback riding with Chloe. I was in Africa in a diamond mine. I don't know if you, I don't know that, I don't know that that's the best place to be. Kim, in a diamond mine in Africa. That's not a good thing, Kimberly. That's not a good thing, you know that, right? Like, do you know what they do in the diamond mines in Africa? I wouldn't have put this one in the book. That's the one picture I would say don't, or maybe just like, don't put the caption that you were in a diamond mine in Africa. Maybe, were you mining for diamonds? Do you even need more? Do you, don't you have enough? Lie, say something. I was doing construction in New York to help the, you know, the people there. Oh, I remember seeing these where she got sunburnt. See, I hate that I know that. I hate that I had to, I involuntarily have seen all of these pictures, these ones. Like I saw against my will. The caption for this one says, I fell asleep in the sun in Mexico with huge sunglasses on. I don't feel bad. I feel nothing. I had work a week later. It was so hard to cover this up. How could you, I just want to know how someone can fall asleep with the sun literally burning their skin. There's no way I'm over there flipping every one minute. I'm putting on sunscreen. I'm reapplying it. I'm checking to see if, you know, my mom left me another voice note in Arabic yelling at me. I can't even fall asleep when I should fall asleep, like at night. Like, let me fall asleep like this and no, for, and no one wake me up. Like, no one have a care in the world. Oh, she's, she's toasting outside. She'll be fine. She's been out there for five hours. Just let her sleep. She was, how, how long do you have to be outside in the sun for to get this? This looks like an extreme sunburn. It looks like Courtney was there. Why she didn't say anything? I'm not here to get into the family dynamics. Another one of... Kim getting her makeup done, as she does every day. How much does that, that must be so expensive to do your makeup and hair every day. The average income for any American is what she probably spends on hair and makeup. Like, let's be real here. Another selfie of her. I aspire to, to do this, have my hair and makeup done, sit in a robe, no care in the world, just do auto pay on my bills. These are some of my favorite selfies ever. Okay, so she took some wearing a bra and underwear or like a swimsuit of some kind. So that's what it looks like. We're gonna end on page 93. What do you guys think of the book so far? Personally, I, it's not as bad as I thought. It's a little interesting. That I like her captions and the photo choices that she has. She took photos in good moments of her life, like the sunburn was interesting and the behind the scenes things. I'm not hating it, I'm not hating it. Uh, let me know if you guys wanna see a part two, the continuation of this book. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next book review.